morning. It's Monday. It's the start of Christmas week. A very busy week for us as we're going to France on Thursday and I have not even started to pack yet. So it's gonna be a busy busy week but we'll get through the the first craziness of it and then we'll enjoy the rest. Of course we're getting ready to pack. Yes and now we're gonna show you the calendars of the day. Are you ready Owen? Yeah. So we got uh, two books and then this one has a present and it has a laptop inside so I am guessing this is the daddy's present. Then we got a uh, snowflake cookie candle, the baby foxes and then the chocolate. Hi, I'm back from the school run. So this vlog is more than likely going to be a three day vlog of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. Uh, we leave on Thursday so it's going to be all about the preparation before we go on holidays. Before I do that though, I'm going to have to give you a mouse update, unfortunately. Last night we went in bed, I was asleep, James was getting to sleep and we started to hear scratching inside our wall in the bedroom and then the mouse also came out, well we haven't seen it but we know for sure it did. Uh, there's a hole in the wall in our room, we have decided not to block it so then we can, because the, the, the mouse is in the attic and in the cavity walls, we've put traps in the attic and we've put a trap at the exit of that that hole in the wall because we know it comes out from there so if we block it it's less of a chance to catch it so <coughs> we have put a big cardboard box that's blocking that wall that that hole so if the mouse comes out of that wall of that hole it goes in the box and in that box there is a humane trap with food inside we are hoping to catch it alive if we can but at this point it's driving me insane i have slept on and off two hours last night I ended up moving down the stairs to the office to be able to get some sleep and it's honestly freaking me out it's not the mouse itself it's the fact that it can come out at any point from anywhere and I don't know and I feel like I'm I'm living in a in a kind of a thriller movie I know it's just a mouse and I know it's more scared of me than I am of it but the situation really freaks me out <laughs> so uh, I'm hoping we get it sorted before we go um anyway i'm feeling really anxious right now because this is probably part of it but the main part of it is that the to-do list in the next three days is crazy do you know how you can kick anxiety yeah. in the bum you can be silly with a baby <laughs> here and we're playing with the this is what we're playing with oh oh no it's the lid of a plastic bottle and <laughs> I've been playing with that for about 20 minutes. He throws it round, I catch it, and then I lift him up and I go, where is it? And then he laughs for 20 minutes. Yeah, we've been doing that. So it's now almost 10 to 2, so I'm gonna go have to go and get Owen in school. I feel still asleep, so I'm gonna get him in his bed. But so far today, so I've tidied up the living room and I'm so glad it was so messy in this morning when I arrived and I saw the mess. It was clothes everywhere and dirt and toys all over the place. Wrappers of food, plates, cups, everything. And it like, was driving me insane. So that's done. I have now wrapped and put aside all the presents. So some that are staying here are in boxes ready to go. And some that are coming in the suitcases are either already in the suitcases or in a bag ready to go up. I have made my, made my packing list. So now I feel a bit... Whew, I still I will have bits and pieces to add but the, the general packing list is done. Um, I have edited and uploaded and scheduled the two weekly videos for this week and next week and there won't be any the week after that so that's me done for my weekly videos until the week of the 9th of January so woohoo! Hello so she went home earlier than planned so thought might as well take advantage of having an extra hour we didn't plan to have to go to Tesco's to get uh, the last thing we need for the trip and a few other bits and pieces we need to bring Hello Alfie! And also, do you know what stop we're going to? I just said it <laughs> Right, so... Let's go! It is now 20 past 10 in the evening and I'm gonna go straight to bed downstairs tonight because I don't want to have to move bed in the middle of the night 
the mouse is definitely still here we've heard it tonight tomorrow morning i've just done a bit of research tonight about how to get rid of it i would like to get that under control before we leave um and as much as i don't want to kill it i don't think we're gonna have much of a choice i don't really want to use um the poison that basically kills them in several days because it's probably going to go back inside the wall and then it's going to be stuck inside the wall and the smell is going to be horrible and i don't want that <clears throat> so i found something with a fast action killer <coughs> which um if i believe the review seems quite efficient and it's available from our, our local diy shop so <coughs> i'm going to get that and a few more traps uh, tomorrow and set everything up and hoping we catch it or them i don't know if there's just one or several um before we go and then we can block the hole in our room after that we'll put a few more traps in the attic too um we're just going to focus on the areas where we know for sure the mouse has been uh but for now yeah i'm going to go to bed watch a bit of a french tv show in the bed and go to sleep because I am wrecked. I actually fell asleep on the couch earlier. And uh, I will see you in the morning. This guy got their own advent calendar. And then for this one, we got two hedgehogs and an apple. I'm trying to focus on. And then um, a spiced orange candle. Five more days. And then a very um, extremely funny joke that I'll let you read because it's so amazing. This morning, I had a plan to drive down to school to go straight to the shopping center after. And I was running, like, not late, but I was leaving later than I would usually when I'm walking, because it's quicker. And then I made it to the car, and it was completely iced over. So, sorry. Um, I just went with the buggy. I skated kind of down the, down the path, which is not gritted. I wish they gritted the path down to school because it's downhill and honestly somebody is gonna break their leg at some point <coughs> um, and yeah it's one degree right now oops sorry one degree right now uh, but it's very clear this case very clear it's sunny and crisp and cold and I love this weather I absolutely love that uh, so um, I'm now off woo, to the shopping center I'm going to the DIY shop I need to get more DA sir because I use like one of these spray that you can spray on the window because my car is big so it takes me ages so I usually spray everything and then scrape everything and then try and open the window of the car they don't open they are iced oh Alfie's opened that's good because that's the one I didn't need to open <laughs> but oh and on the other side is stuck completely stuck okay well oh this one opens a bit come on um, yeah, so I'm gonna get the mouse uh, traps. Really, really hope they work. And then I'm also gonna get the, um, some more um, the icer because I don't want to be stuck on the morning. We have to leave for the airport with no thing to deice the car, but having to boil, not boil, but like warm up water. Anyway, time to go now and. Hopefully I have my my updates. All the reviews say they had results like overnight. So cross your fingers everyone. I want to get rid of this mouse or mice. I had all intentions to clear the living room this morning when Alfie was asleep. But it is half past one and he fell asleep just 10 minutes ago. And I need to leave in 15-20 minutes. So uh, the only bit I'm going to be able to do before later on is the under the couch. But if I do that, that's the biggest part of the living room actually done. I'm sure I'm going to find a million treasures that we've lost for ages under there. I always clean like the part I can access, but I never move the couch every single time I clean. And you wouldn't believe how quickly things, especially toys, can roll under there. It's amazing. Within a couple of weeks, it can be completely filled. It's ridiculous. Clean, clean all that bit and the front bit of that. I still have the corner, the far end there. I think the easiest way is going to have to pull the couch out. I don't have time to do that now, but so far, this box was empty, and this is the amount of toys so far. There's the stuff in the bin, and there was clothes and plates, like plastic plates, not dirty. Alfie takes them out of the covers all the time to play with them, and they end up in there. So yeah, but at least that's 
one thing done you know it's not as much as i hope but for now i'm gonna go and pick owen up in school i hope alfie stays asleep in the buggy while i go there and back because otherwise he is gonna be one grumpy little boy so it's now half six james should be home soon he is getting a takeaway for us on the way home um owen and i are going to do something now since we will be away for christmas and we're going not tomorrow the day after uh, we can only open our calendars again just tomorrow and I was thinking what we should do while we wait for James we're going to open everything but the last day of the calendar which we'll, we'll save for tomorrow so then we'll have the calendars done we are kind of doing a countdown to when we go to France instead of an actual Christmas because we're not going to bring all the calendars with us and it would be a bit pointless to do them when we come back so that's what we're going to do now and we're going to show you absolutely everything when we're finished opening it. In the woodland one we got some bunnies and carrots, some raccoons and an apple and this is like a container with what looks like pears. And then in the family one we got the present for the little girl with a doll inside, this kind of flower arrangement with a candle and the mommy. I thought I would share a funny episode with you. I, James went to the shopping center with Alfie and I was on my own in the living room. The door was closed, my phone and my camera were in the kitchen uh, and the mouse came out and uh, the, what is this? Sorry. it was over there with the advent calendars and um, I could not put a foot down on the ground. I could not go and get my phone because that would involve me getting past it. This is where I have set the um, traps and all there. So I was hoping it would take the bait and it didn't. Um, so the only way um, I could contact James, who was in the shopping center, was to ask his sister on Facebook if she could contact him to tell him could he come back home soon? Yeah. Or could he come on Facebook check so I can tell him that? which worked and now his sister has permission to make fun of me for the next five years for helping me so much to get James back home. Uh, James moved everything and although we could hear the mouse until he got in uh, with the noise coming in, he has gone out again, we think, because he's moved everything and it's not there. But there are uh, oh, yeah. same type of holes we have in our bedroom, there's two of them in the wall of the living room so we're going to block all the holes tomorrow but I'm hopeful that overnight it will come back there and it will take the bait and it will um, peacefully go to sleep let's say uh, or go into the there is also a humane trap so it has the choice at this point that's all I can do for it so um, yeah I'm hoping we'll catch it tomorrow I would really like to have it under like under control before we leave so i will see you in the morning with the last of the advent calendars and the packing and and then it will be france vlogs after that it's wednesday and we're going to show you what we got in the calendar so this is technically what you get on the 24th of december because we it's our last day here before we go to france uh, we opened them today. So for the woodland one, we got the little angel. We got the table with the Christmas tree for the family one. And that's my last days of um, my Yankee candle one. So there's winter glow, icicles, candy cane lane, and a big bundle up, which I'm really happy about because it's one of my <coughs> favorite Christmas ones. And I have a bigger one now. <coughs> These are all the chocolates that we're not going to eat right now. I already have some in the bag that Alfie and I haven't eaten yet. Uh, so I'm just going to add them to that and we'll bring them for the flight. This is kind of completed and this one too. So it was not too bad but suddenly it became super dark and it started to hail like crazy. It's insane. It is absolutely freezing outside. This is going to cover the whole ground. This is mental. Look at it panning up in that corner. It's ridiculous. And James is still bringing, he's going to go to the dump to bring stuff. It's leaving, looks like James is leaving footprints inside it. So James is away to the dump, to the doctors to collect his, his prescriptions and the pharmacy to collect the medication he will need when we are in France. Um, and to buy some tea bags because we have run out of tea bags, which is, we always buy massive, massive bo uh, like bags because James drinks so much tea. And, um, 
we have a tent on the worktop and then we have a big box in one of the um, in one of the cupboards and we just fill the tin and leave the box in the cupboard except that we didn't realize that we had no more in the cupboard so last night we ran out and um that wouldn't be tea needed. You live in an Irish house, you have to have tea. Uh, also, James's parents are going to be coming in and out of the house all the time whenever we are away. And they might want a cup of tea as well when they are here. So it would be handy if there is tea. Um, and James is going out anyway. So I am in full packing mode. The house looks like a mess, but it's there's an organization behind it. So I currently have the laundry going. I need to do two loads before I can finish to pack everything. Then in this bag, I have the things that will be going into the hand luggage. So as I'm going through tidying up, I just throw things. This box <coughs> stuff for the suitcase. And we are going for um, unboxing day. We're going for um, like not a dinner, but like have a bit of party food with some of my friends. So I'm bringing potato crisps and Cadbury's chocolate. So then they get to taste stuff they don't have in France. Well, they have some Cadbury's chocolate, but not all of it. Um, and while I'm waiting on the laundry, what I'm gonna do now is go through the kitchen. So any uh, stuff in the fridge that doesn't keep, I'm gonna just clear out all the food in the kitchen that we can't keep and either give it to some of the neighbors like for fruit and stuff like that, or just pounds if they want the bread and you know things like that. <sighs> and I can do this. I can. I can do it. I have. Yeah. So I'm going to focus on the kitchen and I'm going to tidying uh, tidy it up as I go along. Um, the living room is a mess again. Although I had tidied it up in the last two days twice. But uh, yeah, it's a matter of picking up all the toys. And then uh, once I've done all of downstairs, I'll move up to upstairs and start uh, getting the clothes in baskets before putting everything in the suitcases. So I'm making quite good progress. Like you can see, everything is clean and tidy. The I have my second load of washing on. I might have a third with like uh, towels and things like that. Um, but um, I'm packing my hand luggage and I thought, uh, for those of you who travel with children or even who travel by yourself, uh, one of the things I find really stressful about uh, the whole airport process is the um, security because now you have to take your shoes off, to take your coat off, to take anything with a battery inside it out of a bag, to take any liquids out of a bag and when you have yourself and two young children and traveling with a lot of electronics plus liquids for feeding Alfie, it's very stressful. So. <clears throat> What I like to do is prepare ahead to make it as simple as possible whenever we get there and this is how I do it. So, um, we ha all have a backpack. Well, Alfie technically has, <laughs> it is a tiny backpack but it has um, kind of a, a harness with a handle on it so we can, it can't run out. Uh, we're going to be traveling, I, I'm not a big fan of these things but we're going to be traveling in Heathrow Airport which is one of the, the biggest European airport at Christmas time. So it's important. And then uh, Owen has a bag with his tablet, his DS, so some snacks and some tissues just to keep him busy for the trip. When it comes to my backpack, um, in the main pocket I have certainly a wash bag, but inside it I put the thing that I want to keep with me on the plane. So I'm going to have my DS and my um, tablet as well in there after. But it also means that any kind of uh, battery powered thing that I need to take out is all going to be inside there. So I just need to pull that out and um, open it and take the stuff out. Uh, then all the rest is pretty safe. There will be my laptop in the back there which I will take out. Any spare like leads and batteries and all that I'm leaving in the suitcase. My front pocket. Well, not the front front, but the middle pocket. I have everything I want to keep to have at hand very quickly. I've made this to carry all our documents, so um, I still need to check in and print the boarding passes and stuff. But inside, I have hello, Alfie. Inside, I have um, money <laughs> uh, that I need to put in my wallet, our passports, um, our health care cards, and our insurance papers. And then in here, I keep all the travel uh, documents we need and the pen and then I have a wallet that I use with euros and a wallet that I use with pounds so then I don't have to transfer things over I just keep this wallet I kind of keep 
all the loyalty cards from France in it. So this is my France wallet and when I go I just lift that and I don't have to look for everything. I used to swap over and lose every single card and doing it that way is a lot easier. When it comes to Alfie's bag, all the liquid stuff are in his bag so it's easy to take out and I can just uh, leave them out and show that. And in James's backpack he also has tablets and stuff like that so I usually put in a plastic or fabric bag all the electronics together so you can pull everything out and just dump that in one of the trays and then put everything back in that and he only has one bag to literally take out and then for when it comes to nappies and things like that because we have a long flight well it's not long flights but we have a long trip because we have to drive to Belfast take a fast plane to London wait in London then take a plane from London to Nice and then drive from Nice to Toulon. It's quite a long day and we can't fit all the nappies and change of clothes and everything in our um, changing bag. So what I do is that I have a lot spare that I put at the bottom of James's backpack. So if we need to, we have extra there. And yeah, that was my top tips for traveling with children from planes. So it's eight o'clock almost, like 10 to eight, and James is bringing Owen to bed. I have not stopped all day. The only break I took was for having my lunch and then to go for about 15 minutes to meet um, the baby one of my neighbors had. And then it was non-stop. I am exhausted. <laughs> I am in so much, my body hurts. It's so bad. Um, I have all the suitcases down. Uh, I just need to add the content of this box there needs to go in. This wash bag needs to go in. And then I just need to finish this the hand luggage, but pretty much all the packing is done now. Um, it's just those last wee pieces we can't put until um, the morning because we need them tonight. Um, and yeah, we have a last wash load of washing on. My mother-in-law offered to do. Uh, I usually wash our sheets. Uh, my mother-in-law offered to do them, so I don't have to dry them and all before we leave. So I'm going to leave basket for her and that will be it so i'm going to end the vlog here because everybody's very tired and i will see you tomorrow when we are leaving for france since i don't know when the next vlog will be uploaded exactly i just want to wish you a happy christmas happy hanukkah or whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate happy end of the year uh in case it's not the the last it's, in case this is the last vlog i upload before christmas expecting there would be another one before that we, you never know so um happy christmas happy festive time of the year and uh, i will see you in the next vlog bye, bye.